Welcome to the Design Hub. Previously, in the video, you learned about the external elements of a pressure vessel. In this video, we will cover the remaining externals of a pressure vessel. First, we will see the insulation on a pressure vessel. Insulation of a pressure vessel is an important task to prevent heat dissipation. A pressure vessel can be insulated for two reasons. For personal protection, from a higher surface temperature above 60 degrees Celsius. And heat conservation, because of the type of process requirement. Generally, we use insulation in heat exchanger. Boiler. Tank with a heating coil. Bath heater, etc. It is mentioned that, the insulation of all vessels, shall be supported by a ring, attached to the vessel, at a distance of 900 mm cc. Insulation is designed to conserve heat, within the pressure vessel. If we talk about the insulation of a pressure vessel, one should mention the insulation thickness. There are some standard insulation thicknesses used in industry like, 40 mm, and 50 mm with wool insulation. Thickness is mostly calculated by process engineering, during process simulation. In this topic, our main motive is to design the external element to hold the insulation. Insulation is held by the insulation cleat, as shown in the figure. Insulation is applied after the hydro test is finished. Otherwise, any leak would not be easily detected. Hydrostatic testing is a process in which components, such as piping systems, gas cylinders, boilers and pressure vessels are tested for strength and leakage. Hydrostatic testing is usually required, after shutdown and, repair to confirm that equipment will operate under the desired conditions, upon return to maintenance. Insulation in the large vessels is generally done in the workshop to minimize the assembly time cost in the field. Now, let us see what is fireproofing. Fireproofing is rendering something, resistant to fire. It is a passive fire protection measure. Fireproofing is not required for a pressure vessel. This is just a protection from overheating during pool or jet fire. Fireproofing is followed to minimize the escalation of fire, that could occur with the failure of structural supports, and overheating of a pressure vessel. In a vertical pressure vessel, skirts are thoroughly fireproofed. And in horizontal vessels, saddles are fireproofed. Hazard and operability analysis methodology are used for vessel protection. Also, this job is fulfilled by HSE, a health, safety and environment, officer who is responsible for promoting and maintaining the health and safety culture within the company. Now, let us see what is the purpose of a platform on a pressure vessel. Platforms are provided in a pressure vessel to get access to manholes, to perform daily tasks and for maintenance. Operational access and maintenance requirements determine the floor space required. The height of the platform is determined by the location of the relevant elements. Platforms on drums are required for access to valves, instruments, blinds and maintenance. A platform with good guard railings is necessary for access to the manhole that is more than 3.5 meters above ground. After we learned what is the purpose of a platform in a pressure vessel. Also, having knowledge of how the placement of platforms and pipes should be is important. You can see in the figure where elements are placed on a vessel. In vertical column, platforms are located 180 degrees away from each other. The piping designer has to try to arrange all the piping from one side of the tower and manhole and all platforms should be located on the opposite side of the column. Further, let us see about the terminologies of the platform. Platform terminologies are Top head platform Ladder Support bracket Main operating platform You will see in the figure the attachment clips for the ladder and platform. Okay, that is all for this video. We will see you in the next one, until then learn and grow.